Hello, welcome to Museo Sumaya. Today we're going to speak about the Gates of Hell, Rodin's most important sculpture. It was commissioned to him in 1884 by the French government for the opening door of the Museum of Decorative Arts in Paris. So he, um, he started it and he continued working in it for the rest of his life. He died in 1917, so it was over 20 years of work put into this art piece. It's one of the most important uh, of Rodin's uh, projects because many of the most famous sculptures of Rodin, who's the father of the modern sculpture, uh, are found in here, like the Thinker and, well, Paolo and Francesca that are the same characters that were for, uh, well, that were taken out of it and placed in the famous Kiss. So in 1884 it was commissioned to him and um, sculpture-wise he was inspired by Ghiberti's uh, Gates of Paradise that are in the baptismal church in Florence, Italy. And that door, it, it's a golden door that has different panels that show uh, several scenes from the Genesis. So uh, in terms of literature, he was inspired by three different sources. The first one was um, the Divine Comedy, Dante's comedy, uh, essentially the hell, the, the first part of the, of the comedy that speaks about hell. And several of those characters are placed in here and we're going to talk about them. We also, uh, he also ins got inspired by uh, Baudelaire's uh, Flowers of Evil, and by Ovidio's Metamorphosis. So uh, on the top of the, of the door, we're going to see one of Roland's most important sculptures that is called The Three Shadows. The Three Shadows are like uh, his way of interpreting the initial verses of hell in Dante's comedy that say that you must give up every um, single piece of hope that you have because there's no hope in hell. So if you can see uh, the figures, they don't have uh, hands because they don't have any, uh, any more wheel. They don't, they don't have hope and they don't have wheel. They're um, surrendering themselves to hell. Underneath it, in the first panel, you can see the thinker, that's Roland's most known sculpture. And when he uh, started uh, figuring out what he was going to do with the thinker, he thought about Dante. It was, it, it, the thinker is inspired in Dante and he's thinking the hell. So the hell is like, his mind is pouring down and you can see all the condemned down beneath him. So that's Dante, and you can see he's wearing um, this uh, free thinking hat that uh, symbolizes uh, free thinking. And well, he's profoundly in, in a profound concentration uh, and meditation. And then underneath it, you can see every uh, condemned soul. One of the most important uh, is the, the, the man that is falling. You can see him, you know, turning almost upside down as he falls. And other characters that are uh, linked to Dante's inferno or hell is uh, right here. You can see Ugolino, Count Ugolino and his children. He, uh, Ugolino was condemned along with his children um, to in, in the tower of Pisa, in a Pisa tower to, well, to stay there in a, in a jail without any food. So they, well, they ate each other. And his children told him, well, father, eat our flesh because um, we don't want you to die. So he was in hell, not, not for that crime because that was one thing that happened because of his condemnation, but that's a story that's uh, linked with, with Dante's hell or inferno. And underneath it, we have these figures that are 
it's love that's running away. Um, as you can see, it's, it's love that it's leaving. And some of the characters that are most uh, remembered from this uh, hell are Paolo and Francesca's kiss. They, they, are kiss, they were kissing here, but now they're, uh, well, he took them out of the sculpture and he didn't place them here. So this is Dante's Gate of Hell. This is the eighth cast of eight. We have the last uh, authorized cast of the Gates of Hell right here in Mexico City's Museo Sumaya, and it weighs over seven tons. So it's a very big uh, sculpture, as you can see, and it's one, just one piece. Well, except for the top part of the th three shadows that are linked together, but e everything is w just one cast. That's amazing, too. So, well, that's Gates of Hell. Thank you. <laughs>